What's up friends in the hood, greetings to everybody and welcome if you're new to the channel. Guys, so here's the new Radiolink RSC 4GS version 3 guys. So this is the new version uh, from Radiolink. This thing guys is packed full of power and functions really. Um, so some guys out there saying so it's always the old model style from the look okay maybe it's like what it is guys but this is so packed full tons of functions so so many functions i don't really need to use but a lot of guys out there for you this thing's perfect to sure so let's take a look inside guys And here's our beauty, guys. It looks really dope, guys. Really, I must say that. It's a little bit big and a little bit heavy, to be honest. But uh, for me, it's okay. So what also comes with it, guys, is the receiver. So this is the R6FG, the version 4 receiver. It's splash-proofed. So that means it has a Biden gyro, guys. And if you have... Uh, the right cable you also have telemetry functions yeah for the voltage i will show you how to bind it i will show you how to set the gyro function on and off i will show you some of the functions guys and i will show it on my boat and on my wl toys to show you the the gyro function guys what also comes with it guys it's a strap from radio link so that you can put it in your neck or hang it or whatever guys so to power the whole thing guys we need five AA batteries, guys. Or you can put the tray out, guys. So that's super cool. So take a look, guys. And with a JST plug, you can power it with a 2S, 3S, or 4S LiPo. How awesome is that, guys? That's really cool. So guys, let's take a deeper look at some functions. And after that, we're going out on the street. So guys, this transmitter is really a performance transmitter. We have a head tracking port, the DC port guys. At the DC port guys, we can also put in the head tracking FPV if you have it. We can power up the whole thing from 2 to 4 is LiPo. All the receivers from Radio Link work with this transmitter guys. We have a 30 model storage guys. We have telemetry with a cable if you got it. We have a screen mount, 5 channel transmitter guys. So we have a USB upgradable port guys. We have 400 meters of range guys, that's really cool. We have adjustable gyro guys, and we have a mix control for dual motors guys. So we also have a one switch, switch function, we can put on any switch we like to, especially for the EPA or for the mix and for the dual rates guys. So guys, let's power on the transmitter. So as you can see guys, here's our model. We have model one, so super easy to enter. We have to press both buttons. So here we have the language guys, the model, the EPA, the STXP, STSPT, DXP, DSPD, ABS, acceleration, idle up, sub trim, reverse, dual rates, ATL, PMI X01, PMI X02, auxiliary channel the name we have the alarm we have the gyro function guys we have the fs we have the idc we have the dsc and we have a timer guys and we have the reset button how cool is that so let us go to the gyro so gyro mix is on the mode is vr so as you can see so we can adjust it how much the gyro should work guys that's awesome, that's super cool, that's what I need. If I'm doing speed ones, I will put on the gyro function to keep the car straight. Super cool indeed. Very cool guys. As you can see, everything's really easy guys. Swift name for our model one. So, so I would make it easy. Just let us say it, it will be a car and the next one will be my boat. So as you can see, it's 
let's go in the language we have English and Mandarin guys so model it's the car one so you can choose and the next model two will be my boat so but we want our model one car to show everything so that's super easy guys So let me show you the endpoint adjustment guys. So steering is 100%. Throttle is 100%. Yeah. So we can adjust them for all channels guys. So that's super cool. If you have a car with dual motors. Very easy guys. So let me show you. Steering. Throttle range works super easy, guys. We have the voltage for our batteries. We're now in the car to have everything. As you can see, all the channels we have, like before, we have the aux channel to put in. We have our VR button, and here we have our channel 4, channel 5. And to get in our telemetry menu, guys, just put the exit button. So we have all the channels the RSSE is on now, the radius for RPM, the X for the transmitter and for the RX. So, guys, for the EPA. So we have the SVA switch, it's up, okay? So we're going to enter this. And now we can set the steering or the throttle. If we have dual motors or dual servos. So you can switch on the up position, yeah? And you also can put it down in the down position, guys, yeah? And on any channel you like, what you're riding, yeah? So especially for crawlers or tanks and all the stuff. And if you then push the SVA button guys, let's push down, it's up, it's down, it's up. So that's the one key function. You can put this one key function guys on any button you want on this transmitter. How cool is that? So guys, so let me show you the mix function, yeah? Also, so here we are in our mix function guys. So here's the, the mod yeah so if it's on or off yeah so on which button do you want to do it yeah see that doesn't matter you can put it on any button you want and the position if it's up down if it's center everything okay guys so super easy and you can have the left or right steering and how much so super easy guys let me show you the timer function that's super cool guys to be honest so you stop timer down timer how you like it the best how many minutes As you can see that where to start where to down to put it on which switch to put the timer on so you see that super cool and super easy guys for those who are driving tricks or stuff like that yeah super easy Guys, now is to secure the receiver and make it a bit waterproof. Just put it in a balloon and that's it. Oh. 
So guys, and now let me show you the gyro function on the W Air Toys 144 or the Ishin 14 all the same. So let me show you guys. So we have to enable the gyro function, guys. Uh, let me show you. So here's a small button. We have to press this three times, guys, and then the gyro function is enabled. So let us power the car. Let's turn on our transmitter. Now we have to change the model. As you can see. So I want to use the car, right? And here we are, the car. So as you can see right now, gyro functions without work. But everything else works. Let us push the small button three times. So and it's hard to see guys here in the sun. And now the indicator is red. And the gyro function will work guys. See that? See now it's very hard. Now it's off. So easy is that guys. So let's take a ride and you can see it. Guys, this is with gyro function on. Let me show you when you drive backwards. It's always getting strange with gyro on. So now with gyro totally off. So now the gyro is totally off. You see how the car behaves, yeah? It breaks out much easier. See that? So that's the difference, guys, yeah? So the car breaks out much, much easier, guys. So let's give it a little bit. See that? Now it drives like on much better. Yeah? See that? With a little bit of gyro, it drives like a train. See that? It drives so good. Here for high speed, it's much better.
So yes guys, and that's the whole thing, as you can see, yeah, super easy, you see small gyro function, if we put on our knob, so we're at minus 80, yeah, that's really good, I can show you, if we go from minus up to zero, yeah, it's much, much more, and if we go to plus, it's too heavy, yeah? But this is super for big cars, yeah? Like the Set Racing EX07, guys, yeah? It's a heavy car, so you need this. So, look, zero, just a little bit. I found out for the car, so at 70 or 80, this is perfect, guys. Drives like a train, super cool, guys. So, the Radiolink RC 4GS version 3, it's so amazing guys one hand gyro so it's activated you can put it out totally with this knob and in like you want it's super cool yes guys the Radeon rc4 gs version 3 it's totally amazing transmitter guys it's awesome really it's such full pack with with functions and really for high professionals so the gyro function for me is really cool and that's what i can use um, there's so much more like the fpv jack uh, for crawler with dual rates epa and mix you can you can send the add points the settings you can put it to any knob you want to um, it's totally amazing guys it's really an awesome transmitter for the money and uh, get you one guys see you soon bye bye